Hey friends, welcome to Andy's Audio Crap where we talk about audio gear and today we have a Primair. I've heard it said called Primair. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Primer? Prem Premier? It's, uh, it's Scandinavian. This is a Primair and they are not common stateside. Uh, this is Scandinavian, so over in old Europe, across the pond, they, uh, they tend to have uh, more of these. Now, uh, this came to me via a trade. I was just like super, super stoked to get the offer to trade for it. I traded a set of speakers and the guy was happy, I was happy. Uh, this is the first experience I've had with Primair, I am just blown away. It sounds absolutely beautiful. Uh, it, it has a very, very unique sound to it. Uh, very different than uh, everything that I've experienced so far. Everything from the, the Macintosh Crown, Pioneer, Kenwood, all of it. You just go down the list. This is very different. And uh, for a bass line, later on in the video, I'm gonna go ahead and play it AB with a Fosse Audio. This is just what I had handy. I'm not gonna haul a bunch of gear over here to, to do a take. I just didn't feel like it today. I will, however, go through what I have listened to so far on it. This is just my short stack of what I've listened to. I've had it on for about 12 hours now. And Let's just go through these. So Smashing Pumpkins, absolutely um, just ridiculously dynamic. Today, uh, the song today has so much going on in that song that it's really hard to pick things out and focus on them. This made it really easy. I, it really, the amp emphasizes right around that mid-range where most of the action and music is happening. Bare Naked Ladies, uh, this one has um, one week and it's uh, it sounded like it sounded like I was at the concert, honestly. Uh, and I tried the amp out. I, I have it hooked here to some small Yamaha speakers. And they're okay speakers. I mean, they're not, you know, premium or anything like that. But they sound really good. They sound okay. You'll get a you'll get a, an idea what's going on. Anywho, the the sound uh, that they made on my uh, Martin Logans was absolutely incredible. Uh, I I just. I can't, I just am absolutely blown away by how good this sounded. Uh, and, and to that, this is a 20 year old model. I can't imagine what their newest stuff sounds like. If they started out this good, how they sound now, I, I can't even imagine. Uh, you know, if I had, if money wasn't, you know, a thing, I would go and, and, and buy uh, these, the, the Primair. Sound, uh, hands down, awesome. Okay, Cake, love Cake. Now, I will say that when I was listening to Cake, I could barely tell a difference between the uh, Fosse Audio and the Primair. Now on the Bare Naked Ladies, there was a, an absolute ridiculous difference between the two of them. So I don't know if it's just the range that Cake's music falls into. I will say that the Primair is really, really uh, articulate. And it, it's just, when when things happen, they happen suddenly and there's no, uh, there's no resonance afterwards. I, I, I can't really bring a term to bear that could describe it uh, accurately. It's just accurate, that's it. It's just extremely accurate. Uh, original master recording, uh, MoFi, of metal, uh, Pink Floyd, and uh, this one again is another CD that I could not tell a difference between the two of them. In fact, I almost thought that the the audio Fosse, the Fosse audio, sounded a little bit better, and that could potentially be 
that that this is is just so much more neutral and this is not this has got a lot of this thing has got some bias going on like nobody's business anyways it did sound good it didn't sound bad by any means but uh and and for my ears the the fossey sounded pretty good uh, but the prime air sounded pretty good i honestly the what sounds best this is uh, macintosh yeah so anyways lord uh lord sounded absolutely incredible on this thing and sounded like poo poo there's choice words on on the fossey audio the fossey just leaves a lot left on the table as far as the sound how accurate it is and and just everything that's going on in this music there's a lot of songs on here that are you know i don't know top 40s i think i'm fairly certain top 40s but every one of them on here is like recognizable uh, from movies from you know just you know radio station whatever you just you hear them everywhere very very popular album and ridiculously good ridiculously good on this on this it, it, this this cannot play this very well i don't know what it is about this uh it's just maybe just too much dynamics going on i i don't know anyways and then alice in chains alice in chains sounds absolutely knock out good on this primaire now i'm not the only one that's like got you know reviews out there about prime air and this would be my only one uh, but i think there's not very much out there about the i20 now, i don't know that they sold too many of these i20s uh they they were very early on in their in their line um you know early 2000s it's pretty small uh it's only 70 watts per channel and it did get a lot of rave reviews those people who did get reviews about it so if you go and look look it up you will see uh lots of people praising it and saying it's just absolutely awesome and, and it is it's just it's drop dead great i'm not a fan of the way this looks uh if they had gone with a different knob i think i would be a big fan that is just an absolutely ugly knob i'm sorry it just is and, and i'm it's a personal taste thing i i don't like it and you know what for the sound uh i, I would live with it because it sounds so absolutely wonderfully good now these don't come up for sale very often at all actually uh, in the last 90 days there hasn't been any of them sold out there there's only one listed on hi-fi shark um it's not native to the u.s so when this one goes up on ebay it will be the only one and i really don't know how much i'm going to sell it for the speakers i traded for it oh about 800 dollars speaker so that's probably what i'll ask for it i was hoping uh to uh not like it so it would be an easy sell uh, unfortunately i do like it and uh, that is unfortunate because I, 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 I'm not going to be able to pick up a second one because, uh, well, there's none for sale. So I will just continue on with my Macintosh and Crown and all of that good stuff. They do sound good, uh, but this sounds uh, better. That is about all I have on the review. Oh, I, I was gonna say too that uh, in the design of this is, is, is actually two separate amplifiers uh, running on each side. Uh, you can you could uh, look up some pictures of one of these opened, and uh, it's, it's 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 a it's a thing of art. It's a, it's beauty, and uh, that's that's about all I got to say. Let's go into some uh, some listening.
thanks for joining me today if you like this kind of content like and subscribe and uh we'll see you on the next show